Hey guys, welcome to my uh, tutorial how to remove a garbage disposal in the kitchen. And this one here basically quit working and also started leaking, as you can see. So, um, it's actually a pretty easy job to do. Uh, I saw a friend of mine post on Facebook how she spent half the day with this project. As you can see, it can be done real quick and easy. Uh, most of the work for me was actually removing all the garbage from under the sink, all the uh, cleaning supplies, etc. All the goodies. But uh, basically as far as tools go, you're not going to need a whole lot of tools other than a flathead screwdriver, really. So we're going to set the camera down. I'm going to try to do this where you get a good angle at everything, hopefully. So basically, uh, what you want to start with, because we want, don't want this ending up on a bloopers reel, is unplugging the unit. So there's still electricity, even though it doesn't work. And second step, removing the uh, drain pipe from the secondary sink, because there is two sinks in this house. Might be stuck on there a little bit, so I'm going to just loosen it up a little bit with the flathead screwdriver. And as you can see, it will come right up. Also helps if the uh, secondary sink's not full of water, because that's all going to leak right in your lap. And there's going to be two screws on the uh, drain pipe, as you can see right here and there. Once again, we can just use the uh, flat hat screwdriver to loosen those up. Hopefully you guys can see well. <laughs> screws out and you can see there's also a spacer there that's just going to slide down on the pipe a little bit there you go save the screws just kind of loosen it up a little bit but be gentle you don't want to break the whole thing uh, as you can see I also have a uh, reverse osmosis here right next to it so it's a little tight space after that what you do is basically you're just gonna twist the unit and it will slide right out and that's really all there is to it again that <laughs> we're gonna what you can do sometimes because it might be stuck is actually put the screwdriver into one of these ears here and twist and turn it. To kind of get it going. Use it like a leverage. I'm going to grab a couple more screwdrivers here just to use as tools. This one is pretty too big.
keep an eye on a pipe here too, you don't want to bend it too far. And there you go. And it's off. So that's basically all there is to it as far as taking off the old unit. And then after that, you're just gonna, well the wife's on the way back from Lowe's or Home Depot, I'm not sure where she went, to get a replacement unit. And it's gonna stink a little bit, but that's your sewer and basically the new one will just pop back on the same way. Part two, I'm gonna install the new one. So check out part two below. And if you like the video, click like and subscribe. I got more stuff coming up in the near future. Thanks for watching and have a good day.